the fact that we've got people from Ontario here who are very well informed. I would be more than happy to give up my three minutes to Liz to continue to share information with you that I think is really valuable. Is that possible? No. Okay, then I will speak. Our <laughs> bylaw refers to each person can have a maximum of three minutes, so okay. just the way it is. All right. And that was a policy decision to put it into a procedural bylaw. All right. Well, well, I'm here again. Christy Kilpatrick, Epworth Street, Victoria. Mayor Jensen and Council, you've listened to part of the community and I feel that you've ignored the rest of us. You've jumped early to a conclusion that there was only one solution to the issue of human-deer conflict in our community. And despite all the information that you have received, um, that better alternatives exist. You maintain that you have a mandate for a cull due to the re-election last November, but I don't think that would be accurate. As Liz has stated, Oak Bay has not conducted the type of survey recommended in the Hess report and by the province to establish the views and values of residents. Without this, you have no real idea how the community feels. What we do know is that Oak Bay didn't engage in an effective public education program. Councillor Murdoch, you wrote me that it was unfortunate that measures such as public education don't reduce population. I now know from urban deer scientists and experts that effective education actually does reduce the population. And if you wish to speak to Liz about that, she can confirm that for you. Oak Bay didn't reduce speed limits or provide adequate signage in the areas that its own statistics told it where deer vehicle collisions were occurring and we've held up that, that collisions is one of the reasons we're having the call and yet nothing has been done about the speed limit. Mr. Mayor, we need you to play a leadership role in helping guide our community through this issue. We don't need you to take sides. We don't need you to manufacture public safety fears or to create false choices between a call and doing nothing. We need you to help us get to a widely supported solution that will allow us to tackle this community issue effectively and to heal. We know you've heard from those who live next door to deer habitat on roads such as Uplands, Island and Crescent Road among others and that they're annoyed that the deer are eating plants in their gardens and that's a legitimate complaint. And it may be the reason to try to manage the deer population, but it's not a rationale to kill animals and ignore non-lethal um, alternatives. Members of the former council who were re-elected in November bear some responsibility for the current state of our municipality. You didn't inform yourselves on the issue. You didn't ask enough or the right type of questions. You took everything at face value. I know that because we spoke to all of you except for Councillor Kirby, who didn't have the time to meet with us. New Council has a fresh opportunity to consider the issues in terms of what makes sense from an environmental, ethical and reputational point of view and from the perspective of long-term effectiveness. You all have the ability to end this divisiveness and take steps to address the perceived problem with community collaboration and support. It takes courage to stop something midway and admit that more work needs to be done. I hope we've elected a courageous Council where the members think independently and are not afraid to speak out. A citizens group is currently working hard to fund a proven non-lethal alternative to a lethal call. I urge you to follow the lead of you, Royal, who's working with the community on its rabbit issues. Rabbit Benefit please. from UBIC, who suspended its rabbit call when community members offered a non-lethal approach. By suspending the deer call in Oak Bay, you'll have shown that you were prepared to give non-lethal alternatives the opportunity to emerge or fail. You may find that you reduced the number of deer and addressed the complaints from gardeners without having to kill a single animal. Above all else, You'll have shown that you are prepared to listen to both sides in a divided community and to try to achieve the goals Thank of both. You, you have nothing to lose. Oak Bay has everything to gain. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor and Councillors. I haven't said hello yet. <laughs> <laughs> so just hang on. That means your time has to stop. Start, I should say. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> hello. My name is Harriet Graham and I live in neighbouring, very close by, Saanich. I'm here to address the issue of the so-called deer cull, which is so unscientific. It is basically a slaughter of innocent, harmless animals. Let me remind you of a famous quote from Mahatma Gandhi. The greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. How will the Oak Bay Mayor and Councillors be judged nationally and internationally if you continue with this senseless, cruel killing of innocent deer? I and hundreds of others in Oak Bay and neighbouring communities are requesting that the deer kill be cancelled and that you implement a series of non-lethal deer management measures as recommended by the province. For instance, lowering the speed limit putting up more deer warning signs in strategic locations, 
educating the public and promoting the use of proper fencing. You have not yet carried out these measures, apart from half a dozen little signs near the golf course. A survey of Oak Bay residents should be conducted to determine their views on the deer management issue, including immunocontraception. Is it any wonder the community is up in arms against you killing the deer? Thank you. My name is Dana Lee Goldsmith. I'm from 2510 Epworth Street in Oak Bay. And I would like to read from a document called Request for Proposal, Oak Bay Deer Population Reduction. This is a document that is presented uh, for contractors to make uh, proposals for the trapping and killing of the deer. It had a deadline of December 5th of last year. I like to say that reading this even very profusely is something that will tell you that the secrecy and the hush-hush of the process of trapping and killing is probably because everybody knows the process is inhumane. I'm going to go to page six of this document where it says that each trap must be checked and emptied as required a minimum of every 24 hours. That means that every deer could spend at least a whole day fighting for its life in a trap waiting to be killed. Then I'm going to go to page 12, where we see that if the trapping or euthanizing is being recorded on video, the CRD is to monitor the internet for any of the footage <laughs> resulting in media attention. You have to ask yourself why. And then on page 13, we have if the contractor or CRD vehicles followed by a suspicious vehicle or person to or away from the trap location, the contractor, CRD, to gather all of the identification details possible and contact the police. This oh, makes man. the viewers of the thing that we paid for criminals. And last but not least, if a misfire occurs with a bolt gun or the shot is not fatal, this is in the killing of the deer, the contractor is to either reload and adjust impact location or utilize exsanguination. And that's a fancy word for letting a conscious animal bleed to death. I have a plea. Please stop the call. Could we somehow come together and find some common ground and clean up this mess that we're in? Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is going to be the last speaker. Okay. 20 minutes is up after the speaker. Thank you. Okay, so uh, my name is Andrew. I'm, I'm not so low on it. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Hello, Andrew. Oh, hey. Uh, my name's uh, Andrew Stinson, uh, 242 for Moet Street. Now, I ask you to forgive me if I sound a little scattered, because I didn't actually prepare anything to say tonight. But something that I heard inspired me to speak, and it was about mandates. And I firmly believe that council has a mandate to carry out the call. Now, in the election, we had a mayor. We had uh, two people running for mayor. The candidate that was pro-call won. The candidate that was anti-call lost. For the race for council, the council candidate that went on the radio to defend the call came first. This council has a mandate because I can say from experience that the most brought up thing was deer. We cannot pretend like deer was on the sideline during the election. Voters were thinking of that when they went to the voting booth and candidates that were pro-call came first in both mayor and council. So I asked for council to please end this circus and do not listen to the minority of the population of Oak Bay and get the call of the Thank you. Where's your evidence? Well, you were quite respectful up to that point. So uh, let's see if we can't just kind of retreat into some respect and civility. Thank you very much to all of the people who spoke.
We appreciate uh, particularly the out-of-towners who came all the way from Ontario and the Saanich. You're always welcome here. And um, uh, thank you very much. Now, we're going to go on to the other part of the agenda, which I'm going to assume is not going to interest you quite as much. Uh, but uh, you are welcome to stay. Thank you very much. But if you're going to, if, if you're going to leave, please do so quietly, okay? We're not commenting on that. You know that. Most likely. You should figure that one out. Well, I'm clearly on the record that we're not saying we're in that. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody.